Today we're using a size H crochet hook and some raffia yarn. So we're going to start with just a slip knot and we're going to chain 33. And so we're going to go into the third chain from the hook and we're going to single crochet in each chain. We'll have a total of 32 single crochets. Coming to the end of row one, we're going to single crochet chain one and turn. We're going to complete rows two through five exactly the same way, one single crochet in every stitch. At the end of row five, doing our last single crochet, this time we're going to chain two and then turn. With this row we begin working in the round and we're just going to double crochet in every stitch. So our chain two counts as one double crochet and we're going to have 31 down the side for a total of 32. In the corner, we're just going to make a stitch and you don't have to stress about the placement. We're just going to anywhere here in the corner, putting two double crochet in the same stitch and that helps us to round a corner. Three double crochet down the side, that's one. the second one and the placement of these stitches is an exact you do not have to be precise with it we just want to make sure that we have three double crochet on this end with the two double crochet in the same stitch for each corner To round out the corner, we're going to make that corner stitch with two double crochet in the same stitch. Continuing to work in the round with one double crochet in each stitch. we're down at the opposite end. Again, we're going to make that corner with two double crochet in the same stitch. three double crochet down the side. So that's one, 
to and finally three. Finishing our last corner, putting two double crochet in the same stitch. And again for the corner, we're making a stitch where we're gonna put two double crochet and that helps us round the corner. To finish the round, we simply slip stitch into that first double crochet and chain two. We're now gonna begin our basket weave pattern, which is front post double crochet. Wrapping our yarn, we go around the post, pulling it to the front, that's the double crochet post. And we're gonna double crochet as we normally would, wrapping around, pulling through two, wrapping, pulling through two. And repeat, wrapping, your yarn going behind to pull that post forward, wrapping again, pulling up and double crocheting, pulling through two, and pulling through two again. That's your front post double crochet. The pattern calls for four front post double crochets. Next, we do four back post double crochets. So that's just wrapping the yarn, pulling the post to the back this time, then wrapping and pulling up your yarn, double crochet, pulling through two, pulling through two. Hopefully in this one, you'll see a little bit better view. I'll show you the back side of it, how pulling that post and that's where you're going to wrap and pull your yarn up through for your double crochet. Complete four back post double crochet. So there's two right there. We have two more to make. Continue in the round in this pattern with four front post double crochet and four back post double crochet. The ends and corners are done exactly the same way. Just continuing in your pattern of four front post double crochet, four back post double crochet, and on around down the side. At the end of every round, you're going to slip stitch into the top of that double crochet. So slip stitch and chain two. You're going to work in the round 
in the basket weave pattern for a total of nine rounds. Remembering at the end of each round to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet and chain two. A good way to keep track of how many rounds you've done, the first row counts as one, and then each bar counts as one round. Now that I've completed four front post double crochet and four back post double crochet, I'm going to chain 12. Skipping 12 double crochets, our next stitch will be this back post double crochet. This creates the base or beginning of our handle and you're going to continue on in the basket weave pattern. So there are four back post double crochet and we're gonna continue around to the other side. Rounding the corner with the four front post double crochet. The next, we're going to have two back post double crochets. We're only doing two on this side. It just so happens to be where the handle falls in the center. And then we're going to chain 12. So missing those last two back post double crochets, we're going to chain 12. Skipping a total of 12 double crochets. We end up here at the last two front post double crochets and we will front post double crochet one and two and that completes the other side of our handle. Continue in the basket weave pattern. So our next set of Stitches are four back post double crochets. And as always, to complete the round, we're slip stitching and chaining two. 
So for this round, we're just putting one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. slip stitching at the end of the round to complete it and chaining two and finally our last round one double crochet in each stitch Finishing up this last round, you'll slip stitch to complete it, and then you're just going to pull through. Sometimes it's hard to get into the stitches, make sure you're catching the two tops, it kind of makes a V. And just slip stitch. We're going to tie that off, knot it, and weave the tail ends in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these tutorials, please subscribe. Thanks again.